What is happening guys, it is your boy Brad here and look at the weather. Look at the weather. But look at my creation. Look at my little man. Sat in the garden, my snowman. The name is Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is his name, came this morning, asked how much it was for rent and I said, 50 quid a night fella. And he's chilling, chilling nicely in the garden, but what is happening? Everybody, hope you're all safe, hope you're all doing well. Hopefully you're all keeping out of trouble because we've seen as of late that COVID is here to stay. It is not going anywhere. Everyone thinks that it'll be over by the spring. The government thinks it'll be over by the spring. They have not got a fucking Scooby-Doo. They have not got a clue of how to run a country. They have not got a clue of what is the best for England right now because the cases are up there. They're soaring. They're about, well... The news say that they've dropped to 46,000, below 46,000 now, I think. The last time I checked, it was just above 46,000. It's close to 46,000 now, I presume. And they say that this lockdown is working, but deaths are above 1,000. Hmm. Rethink your strategy, boys, but I'm just fucking going with emotions. I'm just going with it. I just don't care because, basically, they're making up the rules as they go along. I mean, I bet next they say they're not, um, they're not going to um, bring in the new restrictions yet. But they're on about stricter restrictions if the cases do continue to rise and if deaths continue to rise and people still disobey the rules when clearly they fucking are. It's a fucking joke and it needs to stop. But what can you say? There's people out there that think they know it all, that think that, oh, I'm not going to catch it and all that. You can have it and not even fucking have any symptoms for it. So, yeah, you've got to watch it. But, yeah, on to the reason why I'm doing today's video. It is game day. It is game day. Arsenal taking on Crystal Palace. But first things first, I'm sorry. I was supposed to do the video yesterday for the um, player ratings and... My initial reaction to the game on Saturday, which was the FA Cup against Newcastle, which we won 2-0. Just quickly go through it. I'm not going to do any player ratings. But the game itself, it was boring. It was not the best game for me. And um, I thought we'd have done a bit better. But, of course, Newcastle playing the low block, playing defensive all game. Only hitting it up to Carroll. Not really any out ball than him. We had a few chances here and there, but other than that, it was boring up until the 90th minute when Carroll could have won it for Newcastle, but he he didn't score, and Leno made a huge save right at the death, which kept us in the tie. And then we went into extra time, and of course, you know the rest. Emil Smith-Rowe with another goal, and he is proving to be an absolute baller at the moment, Emil Smith-Rowe, but we can't rely on him. We need a number 10 desperately, I think, because Ozil's going... I don't see Danny Ceballos as a number 10. William is just shit. So, yeah, I see us getting a number 10 this January. Plenty linked, but we'll wait and see. And the last goal was scored by Oba. Hopefully now he can kick on and perform better for us in the coming weeks, and the coming games. Starting off with tonight. Let's go into tonight's game. Crystal Palace at home. This, this is a team we are not good against. Our last few games against Crystal Palace have been nothing but not good. They have been crap. And yeah, I think it will be a tough game tonight. But on current form, I'd say we've got the better form than Palace. And I think we could cause them issues. I think we could cause them issues. And um, I think we'll um, go on, maybe nick a win. My prediction for the game, in terms of scoreline, I'm going to go with a 2-1 Arsenal victory. 2-1, I think. I think Zaha's going to cause us issues. If we don't keep him quiet, he'll score. So we've got to keep him quiet. Eze, he's a quality player in the midfield. Absolutely unbelievable baller. And then, yeah, so it'll be a tough game. But hopefully we can get through and do well. So... I'm going to go into my predicted lineup. Starting goal, Burnt Leno. No issues here. No issues at all because we ain't got a number two. Runnison's been good. Runnison maybe going out on loan. 
for the rest of the season. So we'll see where that takes us. Hopefully we get a number two in as a backup, maybe on loan until the end of the season, then reevaluate in the summer. Uh, maybe get like a David Ray or something. I don't know. But we'll see. Anyway, Bert Leno in goal. Right back, Hector Bellerin. This is simple enough because he didn't play on Saturday, so I think he'll play tonight. And uh, Don't get me wrong, Bellerin's been in good form over the last few Premier League games, so I don't see a problem with him going in at all. Um, Centre-backs, now this is going to be a worry because Gabriel is back. But how do you drop Pablo Mari? Or Holding, for that matter. He Holding's just signed a new deal, so I think Holding will definitely go in at right centre-back. But the left centre-back's the one that's an issue because Mari has been on top form for us when he's come in, and he's done really well. So, for me, how do you drop him? But Gabriel is our best defender by a mile. By a country mile, he is our number one centre-back. And he will probably go in alongside Holden. If not, then it'd be Murray, but I'm choosing. I don't know who to choose out of the two. They're both really good players. And I think the the decision will be key in that area, I think, tonight. And then left back, you know the rest, Kieran Tierney. What a baller. What a player he is. Link to Napoli? Bullshit. Fuck off. Do one. He's not going anywhere. He's a future Arsenal captain. He's a leader, something that we lacked over the games where we were losing games and all that, and then, yeah. So, we'll see. But Tierney, I think, definitely does start in left-back. He definitely starts. No other left-back. Kalas has gone out alone. And Saka, I see, further forward. So, Tierney is our number one left-back, so he goes in. Central midfield, Thomas Partey goes in alongside Granit Xhaka for me. Um... The reason why I'm going Xhaka is because he brings a calmness to the midfield. When he came on against Newcastle, he brought a coolness to the midfield. That little bit of energy, maybe a bit of sternness in there as well. That A bit of calm, a bit of calm. Because Willett was just bombing upfield, not looking at the defensive side of it. But we didn't really need to because Newcastle weren't really dominant at all in terms of attacking football. But, of course, I see... Thomas Party definitely coming back into the team because he's 100% fit. But Gabriel Martinelli, for that matter, he will be back, hopefully, for the um, the Newcastle game on Monday. He'll probably be on the bench, hopefully. But, yep, Thomas Party alongside Granit Xhaka. On the right, Bukayo Saka. Cannot see any problems with this. Even though Nicola Pepe needs minutes, Arteta was saying that we need to help Pepe succeed. And for that, he needs minutes. But where's he going to get the minutes when Saka is performing better than him? On the right-hand side. But Pepe will be on the bench, I think, for tonight's game. Um, Centre attack in mid. You know the rest. Emil Smith-Rowe. The Croydon Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> what a player. What a player he is. Why didn't we bring him in before? Why didn't we bring him in before whilst we were on the bad run? During the games where we were losing to Burnley, Aston Villa, Wolves and all these other teams. The four-game losing streak at home. It was... Oh, it was mad times, but now that he's bought Smith Rowe in, he is a baller. Picks up good positions, links the play well. He's amazing. He's amazing in that number 10. Uh, on the left, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, the captain, of course. Got the goal against Newcastle. Hopefully, he will kick on and start to get some goals, maybe starting with tonight. And then up front, La Cablade Clotzet. Oh, yes. What a player he has been. Over the last four or five games. Unbelievable. Links up the play well. Hold up games. Brilliant. Scoring goals. That's exactly the Lacazette that we needed. Brilliant player. He definitely goes in. Hopefully we get a win tonight. I'm just hoping we get a win tonight. And continue the good run. Leading into the Monday against Newcastle. And then the FA Cup against Saints or Shrewsbury. So that'll be probably Southampton, but you never know in the cup because we saw what happened on Saturday, Sunday. Oh, Leeds! You got beat 3-0 by Crawley Town. <laughs> yep, Leeds got beat 3-0 by Crawley. And the biggest shock, you would probably say, was Charlie beating Derby, but Derby were fielding um, their under-23s and under-18s in that game because obviously coronavirus had took over the camp and forced everyone to uh, self-isolate, so they had to play their do what Aston Villa did on Friday against Liverpool. And we all know how that ended 4-1. But Leeds, they have got no excuse for losing to Crawley. 
They have got no excuse for losing to Crawley. What, 3 0? 3 0 to Crawley Town. League 2 against the Premier League side. Wow. That is a shocker. But anyway, guys, the video is done here. So I uh, hopefully it will be. Well, I will. I'm going to try and do my video tomorrow for the player ratings and the uh, my my thoughts on the game. So guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you're new, hit the thumbs up and give me some positive feedback. Until guys, till next time, ciao with you.